Hi gang, welcome back to Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. Kind of been holding out on this one. We're gonna try it. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna do terribly at this. I mean, just look at it. Just look at how it's set up with that freaking target thing. Okay. I mean, fear. I mean, with this kind of challenge, you'd want like a like a short range weapon. I mean. A weapon that has a small explosion radius, basically. And I guess that would work for these boxes? I don't really know. Just look at that friggin' target thing that you use to rotate it. This looks awful! This looks so awful! So it creates a slight massive sample on the left, okay? We already saw the cutscene, so... Let's get started. This thing is huge! Where does this take me? Okay, why would you why would you want to come back here to get like a better view of the I guess just to get a better view of the situation. So can I shoot you? I you know what, let's reset it. Let's rotate you around. We're gonna just start on the, uh, the default thing. Yeah, just warning you, this is probably gonna take all video. This looks just god-awful. How do we even get up here? How? I mean, yeah, gotta hit the targets. Uh, okay, we can make a trail. Okay. Uh, for a second, I thought it was like an anti-ink wall. It's not. Okay. I kind of like how, kind of like how some parts are like already carved out. Like, like this fort is not a complete box. It's like some parts of it are already like carved out. So, okay, what's interesting? Okay, why are some of these boxes like um? Why are some of these boxes like colored in? Are these the ones? You know, let's experiment. Okay, that's interesting. If you, um... If you shoot... I mean, obviously, there's only one way to do this. And that, that means if you shoot any wrong crate, the game knows you failed, and so it's just going to kill you. I kind of... I like that. I, I actually like that. Cause, you know, cause like, you don't have to check if you messed up, cause if you messed up, you're gonna die. So, does that mean... I'm just going to... Are these colored ones? Whoa, that was weird. Are these colored ones the ones we're supposed to destroy? If so, this might actually be a lot easier than I anticipated. It's like, like when we were making this, this the the Sphinx. I don't think the Sphinx had any colored boxes. You just had to go back and forth and keep and keep checking them to get it right. You know, up here you can try destroying the crates from above. Yeah, that's why I got up here, genius. Oh, it's a refill, maybe. Well, I won't, I'm not gonna collect that now, of course. It's like, this, the Sphinx one is a lot easier, because you just keep walking back and forth. But with the way they had this one set up, it would be a lot harder, well, it'd be a lot harder to go back and forth, because of all these gizmos. But if it's just a matter of shooting these colored boxes, it's really... It doesn't seem all that hard. Go easy on the trigger when you're trying to break just a few crates at a time. Yeah, that's what I've been doing, but thank you, Marina. As you can see, I'm kind of pushing the button just a bit slowly. Just trying to make sure I get a good two shots for each crate. 
I won't pick up those uh, refills until I really need them. I could easily go down to the bottom and just get the thing, but, uh, get some ink, but you can save time by not doing that. Where is my ink filler, anyway? That, that pack on my back is my ink, isn't it? Yeah, when I'm moving, when I'm shooting rather carefully like this, I really don't use that much ink compared to when I'm in a heated battle. Huh, okay. It's, uh... I mean, not, neither of those are really the wrong... What's this? Can you get... Whoop, whoop! Oh, yeah, there's that fault back in the middle, right? Yeah, but why? I mean... Yeah, what would the vault open? The, the challenge is to, uh... Match the shape, not, like, get to the goal or anything, right? It, okay, yeah, the vault is covering, like, the warp pad. Or the spring pad, whatever. Wait! No, 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 that's a check- I think that's a checkpoint! Can you actually get a checkpoint for this? Granted, uh, granted, a checkpoint for this kind of situation would be really helpful. It's like, if I destroyed, um... Like, if I destroy these boxes, but then I mess up and die... Would those same boxes be destroyed after restarting from the checkpoint? Okay, yeah. I, okay, I dreaded this mission. Droop. Yeah, I, I think I was dreading this mission a lot more than I should have. This is not. This is not bad. All you had to do is just shoot these colored boxes. This is a lot. This is a lot easier than I was anticipating. <laughs> I guess I mean. I guess, the, I mean, the main reason I didn't want to do it right away was because I thought it would take forever. And it's, I mean, it, it is, it is taking a decent, it is taking a fair amount of time either way. But, like, it's definitely not going to take as long as it would have if I had to keep going back and forth between the structures. It's as simple as just shooting the colored crates. We'll just keep this up and... And not drip ink on this one, please. And eventually we're, we'll win. How good is my ink now? That bar hasn't dropped at all, it looks like. It's like I'm barely losing any ink. Uh, this might not be a favorable situation. Looks like you're about halfway done. Okay, thanks for the heads up, actually. Only halfway? Ugh! Oh, hey, how about using that key? Oh, yeah, yeah, Marina just reminds me of the key. Like, like hey, you know, in case you mess up and have to start over, there's a checkpoint that'll make this a uh, ton, make it go a ton faster. And, yeah, I agree with you, Marina, but... Just a cocky son of a bitch right now. And yeah, okay, so right above that is, is a, a good crate. You can use this one. That one just sees as a foothold. So it's weird that my ink is barely even going down at all. Let's get back up here so we can uh, do this right.
Oh man, I'm losing my ability to focus. Sounds like the perfect time for some incro incrobics. What in two? What in two? I'll have to collect this just to get it out of the way. Really? Okay, less than 20 left now. Alright, um... Let's go get that checkpoint. Almost done! Keep it up, eight. It'd probably be a lot cooler to just beat that without getting the checkpoint, but... I'm not that ballsy. Oh, a checkpoint! Use it wisely! Phew, I thought you were gonna have to start all over if you failed! Yeah, so now I'll just restart with less than 20 left. So, uh... Yeah. Okay, that was an epic way to finish it. Just killed those two at the same time. Wow, that's using your head! There's a goal. Climb up to the top of the example structure. St example statue. Okay, Nintendo. I like what you did with this one. Like, Nintendo knew it would be way too stressful to... Go, keep going back and forth and checking every little detail. That would have been hell. And that's no joke. How do we even get up here? Oh, okay, we gotta find a little pathway. I see. I'm creative. You just decided to make it simpler by coloring in the very boxes we needed to destroy. And from then, it was just a matter of being careful. So yeah, like what you did here, Nintendo. I like what you did with this one. It's gonna have been a lot more time-consuming. Up to... Up. Oh. Okay. Probably gotta keep going. And I also appreciate how I had to go through this little this little platforming course just to get to the top of the example structure. Which would be even more reason why keep repeatedly checking this one would have been awful. Let's uh let's be real here. We had to go through this much platforming just to get around it. There's shit down here! Yeah, nice little secret Nintendo! There is shit down here. Hey. Hey. 
Okay, okay, like, how, how, do, how do I get back up? I'm just trapped down here, but no, this one's actually colorful. Coffee! Yeah, that took 15 minutes. That was actually quite long, but could have been worse. That was, uh, appro well appreciated. Ugh. All right, now we complete another set. That's delightful. We got clothing this time. Your collection grows, I see. Six complete sets is mighty fine. No bones about it. I like to see you apply yourself. Does a world of good for my Does a world of good for my own dream. Oh. Oh, these guys make a little ringy sound. And you're kind of kind of a creepy. Well, don't that beat all. No thanks seems enough for this, but thank you I must. How about a small token of my esteem? It might come in handy to the, in the promised land. Nice footwear. I followed that dream once. I chased it until I could go no further. Don't stumble now. I forgot to mention, but like, these cre- These weird-looking creatures, they remind me of Yume Nikki. And, uh, I don't know if anyone- It's not a very well-known game, but it is a really good game. But it is real, has a lot of disturbing scenery. There's um, an area where you're actually on a train, and there's a, like, like this one sh creepy dude that's on the train as well. And there's a bunch of other creepy characters too. That's pretty much what these characters remind me of the creepy creatures in Yume Nikki. You have found all lines, and I'll grant you final CQ points. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. 7,000, yeah, okay, we're quite overstocked. So, so we got six more levels to beat. Might as well read this um, new set down here. I don't quite trust the Stark White brand. It's more for squids or little kids. And where's the pup? It's oh so bland. This s swells a store of royal pride. In small or large, you lead the charts. Ink of nobles flows inside. That's called a king tank. A scallop hoodie. On colder days, I like these clothes. With other threads, I'd stay in bed. It's too frigid to be exposed. Mint Dacronics. I see you walking down the street. You think you're slick in those line kicks, but they look fresher on my feet. The squishing footsteps trudge in muck. Their path revealed by heavy heel. My heart beats quick. A stroke of luck. Neon sea slugs. Such devilish may... Such devilfish may care... Couture. The colors clash and make a splash. Without a doubt, footwear du jour. Orange arrows. Takaroka mesh. It keeps the elements away. No rain, no heat, nor wind, nor sleep. But does it guard against ink spray? <sighs> no, it doesn't. No matter thickness, brimmer gauge. Gauge. Okay, that's how you pronounce it officially. A well done pearl will all the world. These handmade hats are all the rage. So, it's officially pronounced gauge. I was right. At, at last we meet, my so-called foe, but as our fate to spray this hate, perhaps we'll learn in depths below. Pink Inkly Girl. Wait a minute. Wait, okay, we're at the top now. Okay, this came full circle. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on that one. Let's, uh... Do this one. Oh wait, 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 wait! No, no. Okay, that's not the. This isn't the one I was thinking of. Let's. I don't feel like doing this one yet. This isn't the one I was thinking of. Actually, I gotta be back real quick. <laughs> 